Hello guys, uh, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on Elastic Deform tool. This brush is more or less like the grab tool. It falls into the same family of brushes. So it, it works like your proportional editing and uh, when I'm just holding any point, uh, the active vertex will move along with that uh, softly. The neighboring vertex also starts moving with that. Okay, so uh, it is again, it works like some elastic object uh, and uh, when you have to deform uh, certain volumes of the shape you can use this tool uh, if you just get into this options there are different types of options given here starting with the grab which is like your normal grab tool um, and uh, if you could see in the grab when i'm dragging it it's only affecting that point but here you should be able to see the overall volume is getting you know affected that's uh, i could see the difference and let's say if i'm switching off the volume preservation uh, you could see uh, when I'm increasing this, uh, the way the behavior is completely changing. Let's say if I'm in zero, uh, the drag is affecting in the same direction. However, when I increase this, you should be able to see when I'm dragging here, this side of the model is getting unaffected, but there is slight shift going on there. You should be able to see that. And when I do this one, the shape of this silhouette is also getting affected with the grab. So. Uh, we have a bi scale grab when I'm dragging this. Uh, the grab is affected within the radius of this uh, brush stroke. Okay. Uh, when I'm changing this to tri scalar, this is more concentrated into that. So these are like three levels of grabs where the effect is more concentrated to the center of the brush. Uh, we have this tool called scale. Okay. So I'm going to enable this uh, wireframe. And then let me just change this to the scale and just click there and drag it. You should be able to see all the points are getting scaled from the active vertex. This is the active vertex. Click and drag and all the vertex points are getting uh, scaled uh, from there. Um, I can try using the volume preservation and then you should be able to see the distortion is slightly different in comparison to what we have with this let me choose this zero and then see the difference okay so let me just put this to 0 0.4 which is the default and then try the twist option just click and drag and then you should be able to see i'm twisting the object from there okay so we have all these options um in the elastic deform as i told you it falls into the category of the grab only so let me just go to the grab tool and then just uh, hold any of the point and drag and you should be able to see I'm able to move up and down front and back all that free movement is uh, available in this grab but when I hold control and just click and drag the drag is happening only in the normal direction of the active vertex whereas I'm not able to move up and down like this only front and back is possible in which direction the vertex is only that direction this is possible the other directions it's not possible for that you need to just hold control you should able to see it's locked there i'm not able to move this like this okay 